enormously demonstrated some of the challenges to us. Foreign influence operations that capitalize on moments of global uncertainty are far from new now with upgraded disinformation campaign and usage of technologies. And we will delve into it a bit more as we go along. So there are three types of information disorder, namely disinformation, misinformation, and malinformation. Let's just quickly look at how we differentiate between the three. This information, I've already said, information that is falsely and deliberately created to harm an entity. Misinformation that is false but not created with the intention of harm. And malinformation is information that is based on reality used to inflict harm on an entity. So the differences, ladies and gentlemen, as you see on the screen, are not particularly very stark. But yet, these differences need to be understood very well for us to be discerning consumers of news and information. Among the social media platforms, Facebook has become the key source of disinformation and fake news in Bangladesh with the rise of netizens here. Again, I want to put a disclaimer, we are not singling out or criticizing Facebook per se because of the fact that Facebook has the highest number of users. Had there been any other platform with a higher number of users, that would have been a platform for uh, disinformation and fake news as well. Uh, Half of the people are not aware of the importance to check the accuracy of any news. 15% people, according to some surveys, never bothered to question the source of fake news here, according to MRDI. The pandemic has unfolded many new challenges, including widespread disinformation on social media about the disease, virus that causes it, miracle cures, and the impact of it. Now let's look at this slide from Brookings Institution, uh, noted American think tank. Let's look at the social media usage across the world. So this graph is very instructive, right? Isn't it amazing that if you see on the screen, Europe, which has a far higher level of development, has much less in terms of social media usage compared to Middle East or Latin America. Again, this is from 2016, but just to give you an idea, these things keep changing. Do, does anybody know what the, what is, uh, the status of Dhaka as far as Facebook usage is concerned? Dhaka, I'm not talking about Bangladesh. Any ideas? Any guesses? So Dhaka, according to a survey carried out internationally, after Bangkok, is the second largest number of Facebook users as a mega city in the world. Every minute, about 10 accounts are opened in Mount Dhaka. And again, these statistics keep changing, so we have to be very dynamic about how we consume the statistics as well. But it's a huge Facebook user population that we have in Bangladesh. Now let's look at this slide. Uh, app usage. So you can see Messenger, WhatsApp, Viber, WeChat, Line, Emo. As you can see, in America, North America in particular, Messenger is far more popular than WhatsApp. But look at Asia, or what we call Indo-Pacific region today. It's what's green after green, so it's all WhatsApp, right? And then you look at the uh, whole of China, it's dominated by WeChat. And then Central Asia, we see a lot of emo. But we don't see any uh, WhatsApp in China. We don't see much WhatsApp in large parts of North America. And I mean, of course, there is WhatsApp in North America, but it's not what is the most popular messaging app. Australia, New Zealand, again, we see a lot of messenger. Now, let's look at these statistics. 91.2 million registered internet users. What is the population of Germany? Any idea? Population of Germany is 80 million. So the internet user population of Bangladesh is larger than the largest country in Europe. The population of Australia is 25 million. So imagine uh, how many Australias exist just in terms of the internet user demographics in Bangladesh. 34 million active social media users. 34 million. 
that's easily the population of most countries in Europe. So at any given time, three core 40 lakhs, I mean, I'm old fashioned, so I still like crores rather than millions. So three core 40 lakh people are accessing social media in Bangladesh. 